And I'm here with Scott Conroe just before the opening reception of his exhibition, Scott Conroe by Rail, curated by James Patton and organized by the Art Gallery of Windsor. Thank you so much, Scott. We're so excited to have you here and to have your exhibition. It's, it's a pleasure to be here, Kayla. Thank you. Well, this is one of my favorite pieces in the show. It's uh, in Cleveland. This is the first image I made when I started actively shooting this project. Okay. Well, it has um, these three generations of infrastructure all overlapping and the order in which they were built, right? Uh, the northeast of the states, or, yeah, the northeast of the states was developed largely along a canal system and then in time that was replaced by a railway system and he, in the image they just put it on top and that in turn was replaced by our relationship with um, automobiles and highways and in the photo we have that also just laid on top of the previous one so this is I think a kind of a funny little archaeology of, of how we've developed. So tell me about this body of work. The series is called By Rail. It's a series of photographs that look at North America along the rail infrastructure. So this was a way I could do a project about North American civilization uh, in, its, in, in some version of its entirety. Could you speak a bit about your choice of using long exposures in these photographs? Yeah, I like how long exposures look. They look very pretty. Um, I, I do most of my work in the evening or in the early morning, and so there's not very much light then, so the shutter of the camera has to stay open longer. Um, and uh, yeah, over time I just really started to enjoy how that looks. So this one I set up the camera, and I started making the exposure, and then I just sat there and I waited for every light in the scene to go on. That's how I determined it was time to stop the exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And during that time, the, the sky had started a little pink, which is why it's pink there. Mm -hmm. But then it got orange and blue and then almost black. But it registers this sort of purpley blue pink. Mm -hmm. So I like that. I like that it, the photograph contains a, a visual information that never existed in actuality. It's a collection of all of these things together. So there, it's, it's distinct from reality somewhat. This picture is funny. I like this picture. Uh, actually, I don't really like the picture so much, but I like the town a lot. This is a town in Utah and it's called Helper. And it's, it's near the summit of a pass across the Continental Divide. So the reason for the town being there is that they keep extra engines in the town and attach them to trains and to help them get over the pass. Um, they put on three extra engines and take them 12 miles and then come back to town. Many of your images are actually absent from having trains or people in them. Mm. Could you maybe talk a little bit about that and that choice that you made? On a, what do we say, on a conceptual note, I like that it's about the the, the, the tracks and the infrastructure and the thing rather than about what happens on them. There's no, yeah, it's, there's no distractions from, from what that is. 